Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Greg Michalowski from ForexLive.com. I'm going to take a look at some of the major currency pairs as they run into some technical targets that are uh, important for the short term. Let's uh, start by looking at the pound versus U.S. dollar. And the technical targets that I'm referring to are the moving averages. Uh, I specifically look at the 100. That's the blue line in the chart. And the green line represents the 200. This is an hourly chart. And the hourly moving averages here are being tested in the pound versus U.S. dollar. The 100-hour moving average comes in at 1.1151. The 200-hour moving average comes in at 1.1196. And the high price I just reached a high level of one point. Uh, 1179. Uh, so in between those uh, two moving average, average levels and the prices now back down toward the 100 hour moving average. If the, the bias is going to get more positive for the pound versus US dollar, we need to get and stay above the higher level, the 200 hour moving average. We will take uh, holding the 100 hour moving average here as a, as a uh, level that uh, would keep the, the bias a little bit tilted more to the upside, but a move back below that level with momentum would disappoint the uh, buyers. Uh, we've already been up there uh, two different bars here and fallen back below that level in the last bar. So it's kind of a key level here uh, going forward. So keep an eye on that 100 hour moving average. Let's take a look at the uh, euro versus US dollar. And it uh, moved up toward the 100 hour moving average. That comes in at 0 0.9777. The high price just reached 0 0.9777. 66 and uh, backed off so we didn't quite reach that level currently trading at 0 0.9762 we're going to need to get above the 100 hour moving average and also the 200 hour moving average of 0 0.9815 in order to kick start the uh, upside bullishness uh, for this pair failure to do that and the sellers still remain in control on that currency pair let's take a look at the dollar versus swiss on the hourly chart and as you can see this currency pair is also testing its 100 hour moving average at 0 0.99198 we moved just below that level, testing a 38.2% retracement of the move up from this low. I guess that's last week's low. That level comes in at 0 0.99118. Uh, so the price came in between those levels, currently back above the 100-hour moving average. So we are seeing some support buyers against its 100-hour moving average against its 38.2% retracement. Dollar versus Canada hourly chart. Price is... Yes, down testing the 100-hour moving average at 1.3722. The price dipped just below that level, but stays above the 200-hour moving average at 1.3692. It would take a move below the 100-hour moving average and 200-hour moving average to increase the bearish bias on the downside. Right now, we're holding support and moving uh, away from that moving average level. Uh, so the buyers are coming in and, uh, and uh, keeping the uh, uh, buyers in control. Finally, let's take a look at the New Zealand versus US dollar. And yes, the 100 hour moving average was broken here, but the 200 hour moving average remains a hurdle on the top side. The 100 hour moving average is converged with the 38.2 of this last move to the downside at 0.56408. The 200 hour moving average is below the 50% retracement around the 0.5668 level. Uh, we need to, need to get above both those levels in order to increase the bullish bias for the New Zealand versus US dollar absent that and the sellers remain more in control. So lots of different currency pairs against the US dollar testing their key 100 slash 200 hour moving averages. So far we haven't seen any moves above the 200 hour moving average suggesting, suggesting that the lid is being kept on those uh, currency pairs against those moving average levels. A lid or a floor, I guess, depending upon which way the market is uh, moving toward. So pay attention, be aware, be prepared. My name is Greg Michalowski. Good fortune with your trading. Bye-bye now.